That's great. So, that's crazy. So you, got, that's that's like an automatic. Yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. You've never seen this before. No, yeah. I've never seen this before. Hey, good afternoon. We are at Burkholder Farms Turkey Foot Creamery where I get my goat cheese and it's uh, made fresh for me every week. I get about 10 pounds a week, 52 weeks a year. Been using Dell for about 12 years now and never been out to the property, never seen where my goat cheese comes from. Uh, so we're going to we'll go inside. He's, he's making Gouda today. So we're gonna, he's going to walk us through the process and uh, walk us through the farm and and give us the uh, the tour. So come on in and join us. This <laughs> airnet is not gonna be cool. Awesome, well I'm excited. I mean, I've been getting cheese from you for forever and I didn't even know where it came from. I, was, I mean, you guys were what, established in 2012? Yeah, it's been nine years. So it would be tough, 2012. I don't know where time went, but. Yeah. And you stay busy, time flies. Yeah, I mean, getting it's you know, almost it's like a restaurant. Yeah, never break. yeah, I, yeah, it's <laughs> never break. Different though. I don't have to deal with many people as you do. You can deal with goats. Goats, you goats are probably goats may listen better. Well, I just have you cut that. Handful. <laughs> Not yet. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're 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 in the, in the past before I started working with you was had a little bit of a game to it kind of a, a, what what makes yours so so creamy and so I mean I use I use it in probably four or five different applications on the menu so yeah it's the way I'm feeding the goats okay you know it's so costing me more feed. yeah it's, it's the feed it's the cleanliness you know? well, that's what makes it all the, the quality that you put out you care about what you're doing so right. it's not like oh, you're right. just I can't, yeah, I can't going through the process. So. If I put out a bad product, I'm done. Can't I'm sleep so little. I get it. Yeah, I'd have it anyways. <laughs> yeah, I get it. My, my vat's a 105 gallon vat. There's 66 gallons in there. I had 100 this morning. Uh, I got up at four this morning and started in. You started at four. I woke up, so I come out. When you wake up, up, you go I got early. Yeah, I thought up. <laughs> I we got up early at six. Yeah. You're already up two hours before I was. You like clockwork. You're there every Tuesday. You're texting me every. Every Monday, I'd, you, you know, you need, you, need, you need Chev, you need Chev. I'm like, yeah, 10 pounds, 10 pounds. And there's a week here and there where maybe, you gotta know, we're, we're, we've got to catch up. But, yep, I mean, it's such a good product that I'm, I'm putting it into, you know, it's, it's like I said, there's a lot of menu use for it on there. And, uh, and uh, it's, it's quality. up to 145 pasteurized, um, but then I cooled it down to 86.5. It's still cooling a little bit. About a half hour, we'll cut the third. Yeah. And I'll drain a third of the way off. This is where I make it like it is in the Netherlands. That's where my cheese consultant is from that. Okay. I drain a third of the way off and start it back up. I spray hot water in it, bring it up to 90.5. Stir it for 15 minutes, shut it back down. I drain half the way off. Start back up, I spray hot water, bring about 107 degrees, stir for about a half hour, then we drain all the way and this is what you get. Yeah, so you can't have you can't have an off day. You gotta be on on point with all your all the different temperatures and, and everything yeah, going every, on with the cheese or you're gonna just screw up a batch. Every cheese is different culture, different, different temperatures. That's yeah. like the curds are all drawn out. They're probably the hardest to make. But they sell good, so yeah, but yeah. I, I take that up to that one up to about 107. Um, the Swiss is about 118 degrees. Um, Chev is 77 degrees. It's different culture. Yeah, that's why it's creamy and so it's a science and an art all in one. I mean, you, right, you yeah. yeah, yep, yeah. And the curds, I've used the curds. I've, I've deep fried. I put a light little breading on them and deep fried the curds. So it's a quick, it's a quick flash, but just enough to get it to a point where it's not going to melt down and it's yeah, still, I, still soft in the middle. But they're, they're awesome. Your, your competitor, I don't want to say nothing. What's that? Your competitor, they buy a lot. Oh no, I, 
competitive. No, it's we're all. We're all I, I I'll always look at. I don't look at it as competitors. I look at as long as they're as long as they're local I, guys. And yeah. that's why with this, you know, we try to. Not many of us. Who's using a lot of your curds? It's it's Manhattan's. Oh, man, we just we just went there and tried to go tried to go there for brunch yesterday. They were we couldn't even get in. It was oh, so busy. really? Really? So, yeah. So, well, I love all those guys. I I know all yeah. those guys. I'm glad they're I'm glad that you know they're they're doing the curds. I'm doing you know Chev, and I'll probably like I said I'll pick up your your Gouda and all your other cheeses that you make. So we're all it's all yes. about it's all about I, all of us just. I appreciate. Sure. I appreciate what you do by you know, every little oh, bit. Oh yeah, you know, it's, you know, it's about what we're all doing and, and keeping you know keeping it local and keeping everybody. Uh, if if I would have just said to heck with all the little guys, what with these? Yeah, I've been done. Yeah, yeah, so that's that's, like, that's nice of you to say. That's yeah. that's a different no, that's a different way to look at it's it. It's true, yeah. and I'm I'm trying to get more and more little guys down because. Yeah, it's more running than that. Us, us little guys are consistent, and then sometimes yeah. the bigger guys can be a little bit. It's a personal yeah. thing too. Yeah, yeah, you know, that is. It is. You wanna go to the cheese cave? Yeah, we go to the cheese cave. Yeah. Any cave that has cheese in it is good with me. This is fantastic! Wow. <laughs> this is awesome. This is incredible. This is like it's like. Uh, I'm representing the cave. That's why I call it cheese cave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So walk me through this. So they okay. Yeah, how this. My, my gate here, Yeah. my door opens halfway, they come running up through here, the first one, first one heads. That, it opens up and yep. it kind of corrals Sounds them in there, yeah. I'm Malcolm from behind. Um, this works. Is, these are on there to worship. So, I, I hit my pump, Oops. It, it creates a, uh, <laughs> so, they get you to <laughs> He's all right. It was clean water, through clean <laughs> water. <laughs> um, I hit my pump, it kicks on, it creates like 13 pounds of suction. I think cows is 15. If you have too much suction or not enough, you, you'll create mastitis, you know. But that ain't what melts them. This thing here, that's a pulsator, and these are silicone. And just kind of, yeah, yeah, like like your. Yep, so. So they have yeah. two teats? Yep, goats have two, um, cows, cows have, have four. four. Yep. Okay. That's crazy. So, that's crazy. So you, got, that's that's like an automatic. Yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. You never seen this before? No, yeah. I've never seen this before. So I, I by like kind of by by volume or, or liquid, how much how much milk will you get out of one goat in a in a in a milking? Is um, that a weird question? No, that's not. I got some in one milking. I got some. I'm probably getting a gallon. Oh, well, that's I mean that's that's a lot of okay. That's pretty good right How now. Often? What's that? How often are they milk? I milk them twice a day. R right now, I'm ready to gallon of milk per goat average. That's the highest I've been since things are things are really clicking out here. When you say days. clicking, what's the do if they if they weren't doing a gallon? What gets I, them I to that at, point? It's well, a lot of it's genetic. I'm spending a lot of money on bellies, the males. To get in here, milking genetics. So, oh, so the males are the, the billy goat. Yeah, it's my offspring. Yeah. I, I keep saving my offspring. Okay. And uh, the other thing is my quality of hay this year. Right. It's, like you said earlier, the feed. Yeah, I, I've switched, but and yeah, like I said, it really, really went up. But everything's going up. So. So in a time where everything's going up and it's costing you more, you're still keeping your quality level because you have, you know, you have that sense of. Hey, well, I can't. I can't. If yeah, I cheat no. my quality, you no, can't buy exactly. My no, that's what I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to say. It's just. Yeah, it's, it's not, a, a lot of us. I'll, I'll quit before I give up. That, thank you for that's, saying that. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I was getting at. Yeah, I'm taking pride in what I'm doing here. That's that's like my feed. Nobody's gonna feed my goat. Goats like I'm feeding. That's why we all buy from you, Del. Yeah. That's why. So. I don't put stuff on that. I use whole roasted soybeans, and they're expensive, but yeah. It's better for them too. Quality, so. yeah. It's good for the animal too. It's just, it's just amazing to me the way you, you started basically from from scratch. Yeah, it's, yep, 
started from scratch, learned the trade, and now, I mean, the product you're putting out is simply amazing. And, and it's to hear, to, I guess, to hear the story and to see how it's all done. And like I said, after all these years buying it, and then to finally see how it's done. And uh, from this, you know. I'm glad. No, it's, no, I'm glad you had us. It's a pleasure. See those goats now. Where are those goats at? <laughs>